Hello students and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today's video is on indoor test from IMVIC. Okay, so this is a group of uh, tests that we perform while um, identification of some coliforms. Okay, so first is indoor test, second is methyl red, third is workers prosecure and uh, fourth is citrate. So there will be four parts of this video. So do watch and do check the playlist. Okay, so first today we'll learn about is indoor test. So before starting, what is IMVIC test? So it is a group of biochemical tests which is used for detection of coliforms. The indole test, it detects the production of indole from amino acids and that's what we are going to learn today. Okay. So the purpose is solely to identify the enteric bacteria or the intestinal bacteria that are responsible for specific food borne diseases or water borne diseases. Okay. So let's start. So the indole test. So indole test is a biological uh, sorry by chemical process uh, which is used to identify the indole producing organisms from the tryptophan okay now what is tryptophan tryptophan is actually uh, amino acid and it is important amino acid which is found in most of the bacterial cell proteins okay then the bacteria that have tryptophanase enzyme this is the main enzyme in this test okay so the bacteria which have this tryptophanase enzyme the, that particular bacteria is only able to hydrolyze tryptophan into different metabolic products. So what are those metabolic products? Indole, pyruvic acid and ammonia of which indole is one that we are going to use here to identify whether the bacteria has this ability to produce this tryptophanase enzyme and hydrolyze tryptophan. Okay. Now of these metabolic products, bacteria will start utilizing the pyruvic acid and ammonia and the as a nutrient and the indol will start to get accumulate uh, in the accumulated in the bacterial surrounding media okay now this is what we are using here now this presence of indol can be detected by using the indol test okay so next so this is the uh, reagents these are the reagents actually so there are two test actually the first is of tube method where coax reagent is used for aerobic organisms and the second one is where we use Ehrlich reagent or Ehrlich reagent for the anaerobes and weak indole producers okay now i am going to discuss both here so don't worry so the first we let's see what are the um, ingredients that are present in both of these reagents. So first is Ehrlich reagent. It has p dimethyl amino benzaldehyde, hydrochloric acid, and ethyl alcohol. Coax reagent has same p dimethyl uh, amino benzaldehyde, then hydrochloric acid and amyl alcohol. Okay. So the difference is in the concentration and the ethyl alcohol, amyl alcohol. The hydrochloric acid that is used is 37 percent. Okay. Then about the broth that is used for culture inoculation. Now that is 1% tryptone broth. How it is made? The, we dissolve 10 grams of peptone in 1 liter of distilled water and then we sterilize it using an autoclave. Okay. And then we add 1 gram of tryptone to it. It becomes a tryptone broth. Okay. Then if you get a question in viva name a uh, indole positive organism and indole negative organism then this is the answer here so escherichia coli is indole positive and pseudomonas aeruginosa or you can say klebsiella gives indole negative okay now let's study the reaction here so the biochemistry within bacterial cell how it works so tryptophan is converted by the tryptophanase enzyme into indole pyruvic acid and ammonia and same when we study this in tube, what we do? The indole plus the uh, reagent that is P dimethyl amino benzaldehyde plus amyl alcohol and HCl from the coax reagent, it gets reacted and it gives you a rose indole dye. Okay, that is the cherry red compound, and that is what we um, observe as we report it as a positive reaction. Okay, so do remember what is the reaction here and let's 
see the procedure now first the test organism is grown in peptone water broth that contains the tryptophan then we incubate the tube at 37 degrees celsius for say 24 hours or max 48 hours okay but mostly in 20 within 24 hours you get the results then we add 0.5 ml of coax reagent and then we observe the results in case of Ehrlich method what we do we add 0.5 ml of xylene first in the tube then we invert it and we we mix it and let it settle then we add six drops of Ehrlich reagent now the enzyme tryptophanase will convert the tryptophan to the indol uh, to an indol molecule pyruvate and am ammonia now what happens the indol is extracted from the broth by the means of xylene that we add okay so this is in case of Ehrlich reagent and in case of uh, coax reagent you directly get the result you don't need to add the xylene here okay so that's the difference then to confirm the indole production coax reagent is uh, added to the broth and the positive result will be indicated by the formation of pink or red layer on the top of the medium okay so mostly the coax reagent is the coax reagent method is followed and the alternative is Ehrlich method and that is mostly used for anaerobes or um, weak indole producers okay so in your practicals you will be learning mainly uh, about the coax reagent but you should know the other another reagent as well now the coax reagent is composed of a mild alcohol and para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde and the concentrated hydrochloric acid so even you may get a question regarding what are the ingredients in the coax reagent and what is the reaction okay now the coax reagent is mainly used for the detection of the ability of the organism to separate the indole from amino acid and amino acid tryptophan and then it is uh, added for the incubation okay now tryptophan that is converted into indole is by a reductive deaminase reaction via intermediate molecule that is indole pyruvic acid now what is deamination it is the reaction where removal of amine group takes place okay so it is catalyzed by the enzyme tryptophanase or tryptophanase then the presence of indole can be detected by adding coax reagent and this coax reagent will form a bright red compound on the surface of the medium by acting or reacting with the indole okay so this is the molecular structure of tryptophan indole pyruvate and ammonia okay so you may uh, require to write this reaction completely in your practical exam okay so do memorize it so this was about the indole test and these are some viva questions so that is what is the name of the media that you use reagent that you use uh, uh, give an example of indole positive organism or which amino acid is actually involved in this reaction then name the metabolic byproducts or sorry uh, metabolic products which are formed by the hydrolysis of cryptophan and the role of xylene in Ehrlich reagent okay so these are the viva questions so i hope the concept of indol test is clear to you all uh, and I will be uploading the other uh, videos on methyl red, uh, Voges Prasker and citrate test as well. Okay, so do follow those videos also do uh, subscribe to my channel, do hit the bell icon so that you will get notified on each new video that I upload and don't forget to like my video and share my videos with your friends. Thank you.